Uh, welcome back. Going to be talking about the my homemade um, MRE style uh, pack. This is the dehydrated pack. The reason I'm doing this is one of the questions I mostly get asked either on camp or or when I'm out and about or by other people or online is that what do we take with food? If you're doing a multi day camp, these are perfect little packs. This is a daily pack. It's basically a copy, a similar copy to what the, M, the Army MRE packs are like, except it's all dehydrated rations. This pack works out to around about 2,600 calories. You can supplement that with um, trips to the like a shop on the way if you're, put, you're doing a, a multi-day camp and you're sort of going through villages and little village shops and things. You can pick up um, things there like fruit, crisps basic stuff like that. Sometimes you'll come across cafes in the world so you can have another little extra meal in, into that. You can make this a full day ration by adding another uh, meal pack which I'll explain as we go along. We'll open it up, we'll see what's inside, we'll analyse the contents and so this is what we do. Keep them in these freezer bags, uh, the ones with the slidey tops. I also uh, mark the, the day number on there. You have to make sure that you're keep on, on top of your calorie count as you're camping. If you're doing like trekking, you need to keep the calories there because otherwise you're going to end up losing energy. So fatigue will set in, you'll get cold and hungry. Start off with the day. This is the porridge mix. This is my homemade porridge mix. You can obviously buy the the pre-packed um, mixes, but I prefer to make my own, so I keep my own contents. I've got some food allergies, so I have to be careful with what I put them in. The standard um, uh, dehydrated porridge mixes you can buy don't have um, have a milk in them, like a milk powder that's I'm, I'm a little bit allergic to, so that's why I make my own. This is a one cup of uh, ground porridge oats, you know, like ready brick or similar or a supermarket equivalent. Two tablespoons of uh, sultanas, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of uh, lactose-free powdered milk. Once you put it into a bowl, you add around about 250 millimeters of water, hot water. Leave it to sit and it's a, a breakfast ready to eat. It's very light. Works out to around about 320 calories altogether. With that, I have a coffee mix. This is my own mix again. It's a, it's a Nescafe, I think it's the Azira. It's a decent, strong coffee two teaspoons and two teaspoons of um, coffee whitener. I prefer to make them myself rather than buying the, the, the like the Nescafe sachets because I find they're a bit um, lacking in taste and a bit, a bit weak. Right, there's a daily sugar supplement. There's a pack of ten boiled sweets and mints. That's around about 260 kilograms for those, uh, not 260 grams, 260 calories. You keep, once, once you open the, your day ration pack up, you take them out, put them in your pocket, you can um, eat them, suck on them all day, keep your sugar levels up and also helps with um, keeping your, your mouth moist as well. With those, we've got a, a homemade trail mix. This is a, a various um, nuts mixed in with um, raisins, 75 grams, 405 calories in there. Obviously nuts are very high in protein, they're also high in fat, so they're quite a good, that's why they've got a good calorie content. To go with them, I have two Tesco branded cereal bars. They are uh, 
140 calories each, so it's 280 calories there. For daytime drinks, I use these. These are available on Amazon. It's like a, a, re a rehydration sachets. Made by a company called Bolero. They come in many, many different flavours. One of these will make up, one sachet makes up two litres of um, water. My, um, my drinks bottle is one litre. So what I do, I divide these, when I just tip them out, I divide them into two. And that gives four litres of flavoured, um, high, high sugar content drinks. Not sure what the calorie content on these is. I think it's actually quite low. It's just that they use, it gives glucose rather than like sugar. They're very nice. That one there tastes of um, a well-known energy drink, like a Red, uh, Red Bull. Lemon there. It comes. They come in around about 40 or 50 flavours. If you go on um, Amazon and search for Bolero drink sachets, you'll come across them. Right for the main meal. That's two standard pot noodles. Pot noodles are at high, they're quite good calorie content again. Two standard pot noodles is around about 860 kilo, calories. So it makes a, once you add 500 mils of water to that, it makes a fair old hefty meal. Sometimes I struggle to eat it to be honest, but they're quite decent. Plus you can make up similar ones using um, pasta, the dried pasta mixes and things like that. Be careful when you look in at the supermarkets though, look at the calorie content on the side to make sure that they're decent. A lot of them I've noticed that, especially that they put, um, pot noodle do a pot pasta, it only has a calorie content of about 150 calories which is not enough. Even if you add two of them together it's still a bit lacking. With that I have a, a dessert of um, various gummy sweets. So choose what you like but that's what I prefer. 75 grams again and that's around about 250 calories and at night a hot chocolate drink warm hot chocolate drink before you get in your sleeping bag keeps you warm and cozy that's 120 kilo, 120 calories again obviously this is lacking um, a midday meal my plan is to pick something up on the way if you're going completely off grid there's like you know, up snow down here or something like that and you know you're going to be without access to any shops or, or etc for, the, for like the whole time you're there. You can supplement this by adding another one of these, another one of them or similar, and another couple of uh, uh, raisin bars or similar so to go with it as a dessert. That would make it into a, that would put another 900 odd calories onto the pack which would make it three and a half, uh, yeah almost three and a half thousand calories for the day. That's, that's ample for normal workings. You'll find that you'll survive uh, quite well on that. Right. Even for a man, if you're a woman, you might find it's a little bit much, but it's enough to keep you going for the whole time you're out there. That will only add another 150 grams or so onto the pack, um, onto the ration weight, so that'll make a ration weight of around about 800 grams. Working that out, you can see three, three days, three or four days out, and you can work out what extra weight you're going to carry. It's a lot better than carrying like the Wayfarer um, type meals that are, are, are wet rations because you're going to be saving a hell of a lot of weight. This is what I do on all multi day camps. This is a very similar system. Hope you like it. If you've obviously, if you've ever had a, a a military MRE you'll recognise what I've done here because it's a, they do almost the same thing. They do wet rations in their packs so they are heavy but it's along the similar lines. Obviously choose what you like, choose what you like eating. Just go keep it dry, keep the weight down, it's, it's okay as long as you've got some water to filter out when you're out there. Get out there, get camping. See you later.